Welcome at Octopus. This is our tutorial for refilling brother LC 223, 225, 227 and 229 inkjet cartridges. Our tutorial demonstrates the refill of those cartridges without any specific tool or rocket science equipment. To be able to make a filler hole into the inner ink tank it's necessary to remove the cartridge's outer housing. The front cap of the housing is fixed onto the cartridge by two little plastic clips that you can see in these two openings. To pry off this front cap, use a little screwdriver and press the little plastic hooks inside the openings towards the cartridge's rear side. The whole front cap is becoming loose and you can slide it off from the inner ink tank very easily. We recommend to remove both parts of the housing as we could not identify a good spot for the filler hole in the front part of the inner ink tank. The rear part of the housing and the inner ink tank are also fixed by two little plastic hooks together. You can see these in these two openings here. We again use our screwdriver, press the little plastic hooks flat and press the whole inner tank towards the front side of the cartridge. When it is loose you can pull out the inner ink tank completely. We have decided to make the filler hole in the frame in the upper left area of the inner ink tank. At that place it is very easy to insert the needle into the inner ink tank. You can see it very well and you do not any damage to the cartridge. A real basic method to make that filler hole is to use a lighter and a needle or cannula. You heat that needle by the help of that lighter and you melt the filler hole through the material of the frame. Place the heated needle on the spot on the frame where you would like to make the filler hole and push it downwards carefully. We had to heat the needle two or three times to be able to melt the whole way through the frame material. Okay, the filler hole in the frame is ready now and we have taken 6 ml of yellow ink to refill our LC223 inkjet cartridge. Please be careful when you insert the needle into the inner ink tank, do not any damage to the foils on the side. If you have come to that point, now it's really easy to get the refill ink into the cartridge. You can see here that it goes really quickly and is not complicated at all. As you can see the refill ink is inside the inner tank and now it's time to close the filler hole in the cartridge frame again. For that purpose you can use liquid glue or hot glue, whatever you have at home available. Apply some drops on that spot. Please make sure that the glue is dry before you put back on the rear part of the housing. That makes sure that you do not glue together the rear part and the inner ink tank. Slide the rear part of the housing on the inner tank and push it together firmly. In the last step we would like to put back on the front cap slide it on the inner tank and press both parts together firmly. The yellow LC223 cartridge is refilled now. The demonstrated process can also apply to the cartridge models LC225, LC227 and LC229. Okay, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for your time. We hope you like our video and it provides some help to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Octopus channel, then you will be informed about all future news about dead cartridge models.